folks. Go there, man, Sam. Man in the big green hat. I'm here in Bankhead National Forest in the Sipsy Wilderness, rehiking well, part of a trail that I haven't seen in a number of years now. I just never get back around to hiking some places, I guess. We're on Trail 200, Wooden Creek Trail. It'd be interesting to see how things have changed or something in the last three or four years. And, uh, see some familiar places again. Let's go see what we find. I haven't seen in a hot minute. A lot of storm damage here. A lot of storm damage. I almost can't tell there's a waterfall from the trees. Always in the seasonal falls at best, but all these little trees, things snapped. Completely disguise it for now. See the green of the hemlocks, still reasonably fresh. Beautiful deep blue greens. Little sipsy fork. There's no color enhancement here. Now it looks all the time this time of year. Well, I thought about crossing Borden Creek here at the junction of Borden Creek and the Sipsy Fork. You can see how high some of the recent rains, some of these winter rains have taken the, the water up. Seems like it's way down, but it's actually not too bad right now. But uh, on the other side, that's at least, uh, at least knee deep, and I didn't come dressed for that. It appears to be an alternate spot now that people are using to get up the bank instead of this ladder that's just going to create more erosion but Let's see all the woodpecker damage on this tree the ants are actually loving the sap of what well, I noticed uh, well there weren't seeds that were stuffed in here it's almost like the tree has a million little belly buttons just trying to regrow little calluses for all the little holes Taking a little bit of an old road bed here up to see a waterfall that probably not a whole lot of people come up to see. Kind of off the main path. Just not really technically bushwhacking. See here, it's almost easy to follow the path all the way up to the top of the ridge. lower falls here. The upper falls is maybe a little more picturesque. Come on around this tree. There you go. So it slips down the rock there. That's nice.
We're heading up here to another small double falls here. Almost any little drainage you come across, if you're in Sipsky or Bankhead, almost like up the little bluffs. Some of you in winter, always up a waterfall of some kind. There's one, there's two, and this one has an upper falls to it. I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not. Downhill, it's a bit of an illusion. You never know these lower drop portion of these falls were as big as they are. This area has always been one of my favorite spots in the forest. A lazy bend in the river here, or the creek, I should say. And there's just something about this patch of hemlocks that I've always been drawn to. Here we come to a nice junction. There's that waterfall you can see real nice. Get up closer in a minute. And then kind of hidden through the trees. Here's another one. I don't know how I've forgotten this, but I've forgotten this. Look this giant boulder here, completely entwined with roots of the yellow poplar. Kind of block the stream. See the waterfall up there in the distance. Got a really good flow to it. It comes down, probably like all those beautiful moss covered boulders and stuff. Until it hits this and then it seemingly stops. The water kind of splits comes out either side of it there. So we have a little bit of a pool here. A little spot where it's coming through. That's a neat little thing here. The trail. You know, it's not really a trail. It's kind of goes up and around this boulder. A huge old tree just kind of wrapping itself around. Like some kind of giant octopus or something. A little eyeballs in his mouth. Maybe he is an octopus. Goes on up this way. For a way down, it's pretty steep here. Comes across this neat little patch of club moss. It's not something you see terribly often. Well, here in Pink Ed, Simply, if you know where to look. But even at that, it's not everywhere. There's a really pretty little column to get it through here. So I'll be finding another way down. Now, I'll clarify this by saying on the Boarding Creek Trail, on the Boarding Creek itself, but on the Boarding Creek Trail, this is likely, or well, this is, the tallest free-falling waterfall you would come across here. It's good 40 feet anyway. The folder. Completely covered with two for it. You come out here in in February, you're going to be treated to a really pretty display of flowers from this little boulder. You got to find this waterfall.
think that's how I'm going to end this, folks. It's only halfway up Boyden Creek Trail. Maybe not even quite halfway up from what we've seen, six waterfalls or something so far. It's been a really nice little hike. The rocks pumping out here. You can see a lot of it that hasn't changed much from, from several years ago. So, uh, until next time, keep exploring and stay wise.